Hello everyone, my name is Sutton the Wolf, and welcome back to Soccer to Spirit. I've been, you know, enjoying this game. It's... <laughs> I have to admit it's not the most well-made game so far, but uh, it's entertaining, I'll give it that. It's very entertaining. And the char- like, I don't mind the characters, they're just a bit odd. <laughs> Alright, regardless, we're gonna continue. Last time we basically had two foxy foxes basically just come on to us very hard. So, uh, let's see if that continues. After that little incident, we relocated to the kitchen. The smell of food filled the air. I just got done playing West of Loathing, so if I default to a, a Western slash Southern accent, like a Western Southern American accent, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I'll try not to. Despite the younger girl's easygoing attitude, always humming some cheerful melody, I found my cheeks still burning from embarrassment think that a girl would say such a thing. I quickly shook my head to clear the thoughts from my mind and turned towards the elder sister. The soup is delicious. Is my chan usually the one doing the cooking around here? Yay! I'm glad you like it, Takahiro. I don't usually cook, so I made a few lucky guesses. It is rather delicious, my chan Perhaps you should do more cooking from now on. It would allow me more time to lounge around. Well, the first step to getting your wedding sash is to become a good housewife, and that includes cooking. I added this with a bit of amusement, following Machiko's comment. I took another sip of the soup. For a few lucky guesses, the dish had turned out pretty well. Cool. Hmm, that's true. I'll learn how to clean, and I'll cook for you, and... Uh, I don't know what else, but it'll be fun learning. Maiko, you should stop that. You know very well that it would be pointless for you to marry him. Only the villagers know how to craft a wedding sash, and we both know this will not happen. Um, that's not necessarily true, Machiko-san. It only becomes ever more evident that you are not of this world, Takakun. The villagers do not tolerate our existent. existence. They despise us. We could never ask such a favor of them. All we have to do is find some way to make the villagers accept you. Because that's easy. <laughs> but I guess I'll need to learn more about the village itself before we can do that. Did we just kind of like side with the Kitsunes instead of the village? Like, I don't mind that. I like these two better than the ones who were literally attacking us. But <laughs> it just seems like we just kind of picked a side. I, I guess it's because these two have been way nicer to us. I like that. The pale-haired the pale -haired woman shook her head slowly, her ears flattening against her head as she did. It is not that simple. They would never trust us. Humans and fox spirits have never been able to get along. I am honestly surprised that you have been able to tolerate us this long. I would be much happy to be proven wrong, and you are free to stay here as long as you wish. Until, of course, you two grow wary of our, wa of our ways and decide to leave. Aw, I don't want to leave. You two are nice. Oh, Nesama, please don't say things like that. Takahito wouldn't do that, would you, Takahito? Of course not. I wouldn't abandon someone just because they're a different species. That's not the way Gushkin Takahito does things. It's not the way Sutton does things either. However, I do remember the village elder telling me that it wasn't just the fox spirits. It sounded like humans and spirits everywhere have been on bad terms for a long time. Do you know why, Machiko-san? I do not recall. Much information is withheld even from someone such as myself. Most spirits keep to themselves these days. There are a few exceptions, Sayuri being one of them. Powerful spirits come and go as they please, but they tend to remain in their world. I should probably be saying Sayuri. Like, I should probably, like, try to pronounce that right. Fox spirits, however, have no other place to go. We are stuck in the human world, for better or for worse. Eh? I didn't realize it was like that. I guess I'm finally learning stuff. Well, this Sayuri character lives in the shrine, right? We should try asking her for some ideas. Uh, no, we do not need to go see her. Absolutely not, no. I do not want to see her. I don't want to. I was somewhat taken aback by Machiko's suddenly childish way. Oh, she was childish, alright. It reminded me of the times I had been told to go visit the doctor when I was younger, complaining and throwing tantrums along the way. But isn't she the only one that can help us? I refuse to go. Siri is a friend, and I just like the idea of spending even a second in her presence. Oh, a fiend. I was going to say a friend, and you hate me. Siri is a fiend, and I just like the idea of spending even a second in her presence. She can't be that bad, can she? Besides, if anything happens, I'll protect you. Fine. If it really means that much to you, I will attempt to lead you to the shrine again. But you will enter the grounds alone. I don't want to go anywhere near that place. You will be on your own, Takakun. Can I come on, Asama? Absolutely not. I forbid it. You are not to follow us under any circumstances, Maiko. Fine, I'll stay here, just like you said. I'll be here, in the mansion. All alone. Unprotected. All by myself. Who knows what might happen to me? I could get trapped under a bookcase and die. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> or slip on a banana peel and die. Or get bored and die. 
of boredom. I'd be so super duper bored sitting here all alone in the same place, day in and day out. Fine, fine, I get it. You may come along, but you must be on your best behavior, little one. No running around and no talking unless spoken to. Jeez. I... Despite Mayuko's cheerfulness, I couldn't help but wonder what had happened between Machiko and the Siyuri for her to, act, to react so strongly. I decided that maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to spend some time with the two sisters to get to know them a bit better. Well, I do have two weeks until I need to get back to my own world, so there's really no need to rush. How about we do something else instead? I'm sure Machiko-san wouldn't mind the distraction. Hmm. Well, the longer I get to stay away from that place, the better. How about bringing Mayuko-chan along to fetch some desserts for us? Wait, fetch some desserts? What, are we gonna go forage some cakes? <laughs> there are oranges, apples, and a small vineyard behind the mansion. I could whip up some cream to go with it if you would like. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Sure, sounds easy enough. Let's, let's get us some delicious fruit, Micah chan Alright. Oh, she didn't sound too happy about that. As Micah led me towards the garden of the impressive mansion, she seemed a little quiet, as though she had something on her mind. I wanted to ask her about it, but something about the way her ears sagged and her tail hung low told me it probably wasn't the best idea. I decided I'd simply try to cheer her up. How did they get this mansion? I forget. Like, it's a new session, obviously. Did they say Sayuri provided it for them? I That might have been it. I might have just forgotten. So, what she prefer, Maika-chan? Apples, grapes, or oranges? We could gather all three, but I bet we could grab a few for ourselves first. Um, apples, I guess? I knew a fox spirit once, a friend of Anesima, who loved apples. I can't remember her name, though. I guess my head's a bit hollow. Apples are awesome. Crunchy on the outside and sweet on the inside. And your head isn't hollow, silly. If that was true, I think I'd be stuck in that jail cell. Anesima did most of the thinking, though. I just sort of went along with what she said. Well, someone has to take the lead. Besides, I'm still grateful for your help all the same. How about... Wait, I... Fl <laughs> How about what? Alright. I playfully flicked Maiko's forehead with a grin. See? Doesn't sound hollow at all. I'm sure there's plenty of clever thoughts in that pretty little head of yours. Ew, meanie! Now you know I'm right, at least. Anyway, let's go get those apples, shall we? Okay, I'll get them, I'll get them! You go grab the basket over there! Alright, let's get down to business. Feeling hyped, I went to grab... <laughs> Feeling hyped! <laughs> Alright. Feeling hyped, I went to grab one of the baskets st stacked nearby and returned to Maiko, who had already started climbing one of the trees. Did they not have, like, a ladder or something? The girl looked accustomed to climbing, but her small hands had me a bit worried. Hanging from the branch with just her legs, she checked to see if the apples were ripe. Maiko-chan, be careful, you might slip! Ow! What hit me? Oh. The girl had thrown an apple at me, and while my reflexes let me catch it with, a f with ease, the force bind still stung my palm a little. Of course, I did exaggerate a bit for the girl. <laughs> I'll be fine, Takakun. I've been climbing these trees all day. I've been tr climbing these trees all my life. Even the most experienced climbers end up running into trouble if they aren't careful. I smiled weakly at the girl's excited attitude, placing the apple I caught into the basket. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm a fox spirit. I won't fall. I'm super careful. Watch. I'll grab the apples near the top. That is a terrible idea, and you are going to fall on us, and we are going to get some fan service. I am calling it right now. But wait, Michael chan Unless you can fly, I don't think you should go for those. Fly? I can't do that, silly Takakun. Who's ever heard of a flying spark fox spear? <laughs> As expected, the moment Maika tried to reach for one of the apples near the top of the tree, the girl ended up losing her footing and tumbled down towards the ground with a loud cry. Maiko! My reflexes quickly kicked themselves into gear, trying to catch the girl before she hit the ground. Unfortunately, I didn't notice the apples scattered around the tree, and as a result, I ended up tripping over them. I managed another few steps and was able to catch Maiko before I dropped to the ground. Oh god, cut to black, and the music stops. Alright, we're gonna get a sexy saxophone scene and some music. My head was throbbing once I'd recovered from the fall. I tried to sit up, but I found myself held down by a small but substantial weight. Yep. Oh my. Jesus. They really like their breasts in this game. That, wow. Maybe that's just a preference of the game designers? Holy cow. <laughs> Jeez. Opening my eyes, I looked up to see Maika sitting on my lap. I mean, she's cute, don't get me wrong. Just, wow, the fan service. <laughs> Ow. I guess I tried to reach a bit too far. Thank you, Takahiro. You saved me. And you gave me a soft, well, kind of soft and kind of hard landing. I'm not going to take that the wrong way. Maika-chan, uh, do you mind you're crushing me? Ah, oh my gosh, Takahiro, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. As the younger girl grew increasingly flustered, I knew I had to calm her down. Gently, I tilted my legs beneath her, and she toppled forwards, her head rest resting against my chest. 
I guess we've learned that fox spirits can be pretty clumsy. Or maybe that Maiko chan is even cuter up close than I thought. But, uh, Takahiro, I think you're mistaking me for an Asuma. Nope, I'm talking about you. You have that innocent side to you that's really charming. That I'll agree with. I really do, like, I really do like innocent, cute characters. Like, that, that's just kind of a... I don't want to call it a preference, but, like, it kind of is. Like, I, do, I really do... I really do like, like, cute, innocent characters. And so I, I do quite like my coach on. I just think that maybe the fan service is a bit too much. Oh, did I just skip one? Oh, no, I didn't. I wouldn't be surprised if lots of people from the village would want to the from the village would want to claim you as their adorable little sister once we've cleared up those misunderstandings. I mean, I probably would have if I were saying this to her, I would probably say wife instead of little sister because that might if she wasn't so innocent, that would probably offend her. <laughs> but this is a game, and it's fictional, and she's really innocent, so I guess Little Sister works. Hmm. I'd be happy to call you Brother Takahito, but lots of people in that village are super mean. I just want to spend time with you and Onesima. But brother? How about Darling? D darling? I don't know if I'm ready for that. Really? I think we'd be a cute couple. Here in a fox spirit, living happily ever after. Your sister could stay, too. We can raise a little- Oh my god, what the fuck is this guy saying? <laughs> Are we just asking to start a family with this girl? We can raise a little family. I mean, we already have a house, so we wouldn't have to worry about that. Any guy from my world would kill to have a pretty wife like you. I held back a chuckle, knowing all too well that my teasing was taking effect. And yet I was also happy to see her spirit seemingly lifted. Jeez, dude, that is some hardcore teasing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Takani. I think Takakun would be better. Machiko-san probably wouldn't like another sibling, but I'm glad I cheered. I'm glad you cheered up. You didn't seem happy earlier. The way your tail and ears were hanging low reminded me of a scolded puppy. Eh, all right. I was just thinking is all. You know about that spell I wanted to try. The one that needs the silky wedding undies. <laughs> silky wedding undies. All right, fair. Wedding sash. <laughs> it's kind of like a belt that the bride wears during a wedding ceremony. I doubt any spell involving panties would be a good idea to cast. Good point, bud. Oh, I thought it was like wedding undies that you wear on your wedding night. Huh. Anyway, the spell. I don't know why, but I wanted to try it for a little while now. And Well, it's a gate spell. Not like those temporary ones. Those are easy to make. A permanent one like a portal to a different place. Oh. Oh my god. Are we going to have to get the wedding sash to, like, save us? Like, to save myself and go to my my own world again? Hmm, sounds interesting. But are you sure it's safe? Silly talking, that's not the point. This spell might be able to help you. Oh. Aw, she's thinking of us. Okay, can we get this art off of the screen, please? God, it's like Nekopara all over again during the sex scenes. Like, holy cow. Ugh. Well, that's good and all. I prefer not ending up in the middle of the sea or in a live volcano. I think we should be a bit more careful with your magic. Hmm, I'm a good mage. That's what Harry said when he told Atlantis he had a solution to their water shortage. <laughs> what? <laughs> you lost me at Atlantis. <laughs> then again, I don't know anything about Harry Potter. So, let me know in the comments. Eh, what's Atlantis? City with high ambitions sunk into the deep due to poor management. <laughs> anyway, I think it's best if we get an expert opinion before we try anything. We're going to visit the city anyway. Maybe she'll be able to tell us if your spell will get me home. Huh. But Suchan told me I shouldn't use magic at all. She said it was only for her to use or something. Hmm. Maybe she had a reason for saying that? Like, uh, I don't know. Do you spells have side effects? Hmm. You're just like Onesima. She forbid me too, but I showed her that spells can be helpful and that I can control them, so she let me do it more research. I'm not going to throw spells around like they're nothing. I'm not a dumb little kid. I'm not going to do anything. Besides, you seem old enough to take care of yourself. Not that I know how old someone like you might be, but... Beware of the dark side of magic. Beware the dark side. In most stories, magic usually comes with a price. Like, what would you do if the magic gave you a terrible tummy ache? Or headaches? Or worse, diarrhea. You better prepare a gate spell in the nearest bathroom. <laughs> nice. Hmm. I do get headaches. Well, those aren't really that big of a deal. And I get to do a lot of things for an Asuma. I'm not going to change that ever, so there. <laughs> I already said I wasn't going to make you do anything. However, what you do what you do need to change is the fact that you're straddling me, and uh, 
You're rather close, so I'd appreciate it if you could get off. Aw, oh, but you're so warm and soft. I could just curl up and sleep on you. <laughs> well, that would be adorable. I don't think that we can handle that. Don't go falling asleep on me. <laughs> just kidding. I wouldn't do something like that out here. Maybe tonight, though. It's only fair since Onesimo got to do it. But, more importantly, dessert! We need to get back inside. Onesimo's probably wondering what's taking so long. Couldn't really argue with the girl's impeccable logic. With a smile, I helped the girl to her feet and gathered the few fallen apples into the basket. Alrighty. We returned to Machiko and enjoyed our, our dessert together. It wasn't too long after that that Maiko started to feel sleepy, so Machiko take, took her to bed, wishing to wishing me a good night. Alright. Well, I was kind of waiting for that like little transition slide. That's one thing I actually do really like about this game. They have like really nice... Like, their chapter lengths are really nice. Um, they make it very convenient for me. And they also, like, they help the pacing a bit. Um, and also, like, I like the, the simple, the next morning style. And I like that you don't have, that they're not automatic. That it's not like a, this screen for, like, four seconds and then it flips to the next scene. Like, I like that it's, that you gotta click through it. I like that. Um, so, this game... So far, <laughs> it is not bad at all. Like, the, it's really enjoyable. Like, it's it's funny. Um, it's obviously not as well made as some of the other things I've played, but like, it, it's it's enjoyable, and I do like the characters. Like, I know it's like a ton of fan service, but like, for what the characters are, I think they're enjoyable. They're funny. They're cute, and I mean, I enjoy talking about slash to them slash as them because they don't have voice actors. That's one of the big things I don't really like in this game, that they don't have voice actors. But I'll do what I can to fix that problem. So, anyways, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. I will always read them, and I will always take them into account. And as always, I will see you guys next time for another episode of Socket of Spirits.